the concept of what is wealth? What is being rich or wealthy? It's a co more complicated subject than you mm. might think. What are your thoughts, Mike? Oh, boy. You've been doing this for decades. One of, one of my favorite topics. You know, we, we have worked with individuals who have uh, $20,000 to their name. One lady I will never forget, she inherited $14,000. She lives in senior subsidized housing. She came to me and she said, Michael, what am I going to do with all this money? I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Mm -hmm. well, you know, what an insight. Conversely, a gentleman whose worth at the time was maybe $250 million, uh, we developed a plan that was going to save his family uh, about a million and a half, but it involved giving up control of one of his assets. I'll never forget, he couldn't sign the document. You know, So the point there is that it's a mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, He didn't feel that he had sufficient control of all of his assets, and he just couldn't give anything away. But okay, the most important thing, I once looked into this very, in, in some depth, and I'll tell you, the best definition of wealth, if you ask anybody, it's double whatever you have. <laughs> It's so, we are so does relativistic. That, does that strike you as, as true? Do you consider wealth to be double what you have right now? I've heard 2.5 times, by the way, is another thing. Just oh, take whatever your net worth. If you're in a good place financially and you feel like you're pretty secure though, but not wealthy, I would bet you that 2.2 to 2.5 times what you have, you consider wealthy and comfortable. Here's a spoiler alert though. We've worked with thousands of families on this. There's, it's very rare for us to see a, a client who's like, yep, I'm wealthy now. Uh, some do consider themselves fortunate, but I'm, I'm amazed at how many yeah. clients that we have who are worth more than $10 million, um, sometimes over 15 or 20 million, who are still racked with worry mm -hmm. and doubts about their financial future. It's all, like they're really, and, and you should be worried about the cost of long-term care and unexpected costs, but any objective, by any objective yeah. measure, they should be fine. And yet, they're sometimes more stressed than our hardworking middle class sure, clients. Sure, so sure. any thoughts about Yeah, that? I mean, to some extent, it's generational. I mean, there's still a lot of folks around who remember that thing called the Depression, yeah. who have a sense that maybe they were uh, born and raised in Europe, where they saw money come and go. Maybe they were in the Soviet Union, or you read about it. So th this idea of wealth, see, of assets, seems impermanent. You know, I just don't know what's going to happen next. So. So again, that's rational and yet it's irrational. You can do kind of a cost of living. Do you have enough money to live for the next 30 years? Five times over, but yeah. so many of us still worry about it. Yeah. Again, it's very, it's very, very human. So again, I, you know, I think that wealth is a self-defining concept. Yeah. The tax authority doesn't view it that way. I mean, if you're over a certain no. amount, you are wealthy and we're gonna get to oh, it. And there's proposals in California and other states for a wealth tax yeah. if you have over 50 million net worth. I don't think anybody would argue that 50 million net worth is wealthy, but on the flip side, we have startup founders who are clients um, and friends in that field who on paper, they are worth 50 or even $100 million, but they can't access it. It's illiquid mm -hmm. and their company might go kaput in two weeks and that could go to zero. So maybe maybe then the measure of wealth okay. is not as easy to define even at higher numbers. But I do think that the key, a key point we wanna make is having worked with thousands of families, wealth is a relative term mm -hmm. and it is a mindset. And I think one way you can feel wealthy is to take planning steps ahead and just make sure that what you have is protected. Because one thing that is terrible, no matter what uh, level of, of wealth you're at, is losing wealth unnecessarily and losing it to taxes mm -hmm. or not protecting it in case, you know, when your kids gets divorced right, or, right. or endures a lawsuit, there's a lot of steps we can take. So, yeah, you know, I, I think that goes to the, to, to the sense of being settled, the sense of being, the sense that you're comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable means that even if there's some, a few downsides here or there, you're going to be okay. And again, that really does reinforce this point about proper planning, financial advice, tax advice, getting your ducks in a row. So, so if you can protect assets for your kids, you do that. Again, yeah. peace of mind, sleeping well at night. And, and just to the key steps everybody needs uh, to take, or having an estate plan, having a trust, a power of attorney, an advanced directive. That, that ensures that everything you have can still be covered and properly managed if you become incapacitated and that it, it avoids the courts and goes where you want it to go after you're gone. So right. I think no matter what level you're at, I think creating an estate plan, having it up to date, doing some tax planning can help contribute to a feeling of stability and maybe even wealth. Right, and, and, and let's, let, me, let me add to that, that yes, those are the basic documents that everybody should have. But in having those discussions with any property owner in the state of California, if all you do is a trust and a power of attorney, the advanced directive, the basics, it's not enough. 
you, you need to understand the impact of new Proposition 19, which is going to result in a dramatic property tax increase So, upon your passing. So addressing that is part of proactive planning, the kind of return on invest, spend a few bucks to get it organized, so there will not be a property tax increase. It's, it's saving real property for the family. Let us know your thoughts. Yeah, questions, or ideas comments. about other uh, topics we should address. Absolutely. Leave them comments. <laughs> Spread the word. Um, subscribe. Um, but yeah, we're going to have more of these discussions insider estate planning tips and discussions. Um, but thanks so much. Hope everybody's staying safe, sane, and healthy. All right.